Morning. Welcome to Vlogmas. Day 10. Welcome to Jazzer Size Wednesday. Oh, that's me. Lower. Yeah. Yeah. Marching forwards. Marching back. Marching. It's a lot of marching. Up, yeah, and back again. Catch you after. Right. Quick explanation of what's happened. I had to give up my jazzer size a quarter of the way through because someone's fish tank smashed. <laughs> so the Christmas tree, her little Christmas tree in her room, smashed onto the fish tank and water started going everywhere from the bottom. It cracked all at the bottom. So we had to mop up as much water as we could. We had to rescue the fish, obviously. There's, she's only got two fish in there at the moment, luckily. Um, and then we've got the fish in a bucket, emptied the tank, but it had already gone a lot on the floor, so Carter was mopping that up. And cut a long story short, off we go to get another fish tank. <laughs> because the fish need to go somewhere, they can't live in a bucket. So that's where we're off to now. We're gonna go and get a fish tank and come back and make some sausage rolls. Here we go. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty. There's a polar bear just to Santa. Do, 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 We're starving as well, not eating anything yet. <laughs> we're tempted to go in the cafe, but there's more money in it. <laughs> Pretty. Look at them. They're all piled up together. <laughs> Keeping warm. They're horses. These are the Diddy Tenement horses. Can you see them? So that's what Holly's getting for Christmas. Uh, I reckon that's the one you've got, which is this one. Oh, they're more expensive than I thought. They're 164.99. There's a smaller one. Look. The centipede's going to fit in it, but I could. We'll get a different this centipede. It's quite long though, isn't it? I don't know how long that is. It is quite oh, yeah. deep. Right there. Hello. Yes, thank you. Look, yeah. yeah, thanks. That one's the one. Yeah, that one's quite nice. And I could just get. What? Right, we chose one after much deliberation, wasn't it, Holly? <laughs> so we've got a slew ball, because this has been recommended, so let's go and set it up. Right, so we've set it up on here, we've put the stones in. Holly's currently washing the uh, thingy. This is the back of it, which I don't understand. This is the heater, this is like a filter. And this is a pump, but I don't really get how this is going to filtrate. But anyway, that's it set up at the moment, and we've just got to fill it up with some water. Right, it's all set up. It's on colour change light at the moment. It's even got a storm setting. Shall I show them, Holly? I'll show you the storm setting. Look at that! It's like lightning. And then this one... Is like a dim one but yeah it's got so many different settings on the remote controls you can have so many different lights I think she wants it on the color wheel one at the moment but yeah we're just waiting for it a couple of hours for it to settle before we put the uh, two fish back in and I've put some water safe treatment in it as well but hopefully that'll do good just gonna have some lunch I'm not eating our breakfast yet neither is Ollie so <laughs> have lunch and then we're going to make some sausage rolls and then I'm going to do the best Christmas games in front of the Christmas tree so don't worry you will get some Christmas content today it's just a bit late better late than never though and I've got my Christmas jumper on for you look there's Rudolph with his lights and his antlers a bit like my nail isn't it I okay, just noticed very that lunch. very big lunch right now it's time to make the sausage rolls 
So I'll show you what I use. Sorry about the noise, it's the tumble dryer, washing machines on, all the usual. Oh no, Holly's had a dishwasher disaster now. I've got cheese all over my bed as well. Oh. So, we've got gluten free. What's this? Oh, the dog's going to eat the cheese. Gluten free sausage meat from the butchers. And then I mix with that mixed herbs, oregano, gluten free soy sauce, gluten free Worcester sauce, and then I've got gluten free ready rolled pastry. So, first of all, the job is to mix the, min the meat. Hello, <laughs> see me in the oven. And I'm just gonna put them in, probably take about 15, 20 minutes, something like that. So I'm just gonna keep an eye. I'm gonna film the best games for Christmas that, well, we think are the best games. They might not be what you think are the best games. Um, so we're gonna start with Dobble. So I, what I will do, because of the ring light, it's making it really bright. I, if I find any of these on Amazon, I'm going to link them for you, okay? So we're starting with Dobble. <clears throat> and this is basically a matching game, isn't it? Yes. Very well. This one's competitive. So you get like, oh, I can't see. <laughs> it's not gonna work, is it? Oh, there you go, you can see there. So you get pictures on the card. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You get pictures on the card and then you have to put another one down and try and match it. So like if you say if you saw a dragon and you saw another dragon and you slap it your card down on top of it. But it's very quick, isn't it? Yeah, well, so, it depends who's playing. <laughs> yeah. If you're playing it with grandparents, it's not so quick <laughs> for them. Um, and it could be quite frustrating because this one is very quick and Poppy would be quick and you know, you've got to be playing with the same sort of generation really so it's a really good game but it is fast so that 
that's about I think it's about 10 to 15 12. pounds something like that I'll try and link it for you anyway another good one is catchphrase so with this one you get if you can get the cards out you get um, some different catchphrases and they're worth different amounts of um, points or money in this case and then you add up how many um, how much money you've got at the end it tells you at the bottom so this catchphrase is swings and roundabouts because you've got swings and roundabouts swings, you, I don't know if they can see the swings but there, there are swings in the middle of the roundabouts so that's another really good game so again I'll link that for you uh, one of our favourites is why don't you take it out of Uno. The box is green. Uno! This ring light is not helping me. There you go. Uno. So, Uno is quite a universal game, isn't it? I think most people know how to play it. But it's a basic card game. It's really good. Good fun for all the family. We've played it so many times, haven't we? And it's not... I think that's about £10 for Uno. But I know Nanny Tiptree got hers for about 90p in the sale. That's not a Tiptree for Right. It doesn't surprise me. Bullseye! This one was from The Works. The Works is a, a like a bookshop in England and... Yeah, how much is it on? Yeah, it says six pounds on the front. But um, they sell some really good games in The Works. So if you are from the UK and you like playing games at Christmas, definitely check out The Works because they do order online. Hang on, I haven't done that one yet. <laughs> so, Bullseye is... <laughs> Bullseye is a game, a dart game, basically. So you have to throw a dart onto a cat, you've got teams, and then you get a question you have to answer. And then if you get it right, you get so many points. It's really good actually, and everyone likes this, so that's another good one. But I don't know if you'd be able to get that in America. I think that's an English game, television show, so. Stupid Deaths. Stupid Deaths is really good. I don't know if this is from Horrible Histories, is it? Yeah. Stupid Deaths. Stupid Deaths is from Horrible Histories, but I'm not sure the game is taken from that. What else is it? Yeah, it is. Right, anyway. Um, it's a really really good game where you read out you have a board and you read out like silly deaths that you think how can anyone die like that and you know, then you have to guess whether it's a stupid death or a real death and if you get it wrong you stay where you are and if you get it right you move forwards and the grim reaper has he keeps moving catching you up and he can take you so that's a really good game because like you're learning about stupid deaths really which it sounds morbid but it's not do you want to do your gas out game now she's holding the gas out game no, I was just so this is gas out you get this little cloud this is supposed to be a fog is it on <laughs> that's disgusting kids will love it you love it but do you know what it's a good game for all the family because I, did, I didn't mean to press that <laughs> I was trying to turn it off um, you can just put it on a little, you pass it round, put it on a table um, and then what you do is you get given three of these cards each and it tells you how many times you've got to press like once or you get miss a go or go back the other way press it four times and you always have to have three cards is the rule and then when it makes that popping noise because usually I'll try and do it where it makes the so if say you pressed it once and it makes that noise you're still in the game so you made it that you're still in the game still in the game still in the game still in the game now you're out so That's what you sound like after you eat <laughs> yeah <laughs> so thanks for that <laughs> So this is a really good game and I know you can get this on Amazon so I'll try and link this one for you as well and like I say kids love it because it's that noise isn't it. Picharica! This is a really good one. You have to find... We you get played that in ages. No we haven't but you, gets frustrated. you put tires because you're so quick at finding the pictures. Um, you put all the tiles together like a puzzle on the floor or on the table 
and then you find the pictures on a card and it's the first one to find but you have to count so many as well as you have to have so many like five pictures of a tool or something you know so that's a really good one um for anyone really but yeah probably gets a bit frustrated with it at times this is my latest one that you've seen us do you and me you, you or me you and me you or me <laughs> so you just literally you've seen it you get a load of questions you get a little paddle each and you have to say whether you are most likely to or your partner is most likely to so we've still got another round with you and carter to do yet which would be interesting oh so that was six pound fifty from matalan but again i'll see if it's i don't think it is on amazon because i think i've looked before to try and buy it this one is a good old game isn't it pirate pursuit and poppy got this what <laughs> she's laughing at me so push then oh good old game um Bobby got this from Kids Inspire the counselling service we've been to so um yeah it's you go you basically it shows you on the back you get this board and you work your way around collecting coins and then there's a little pirate ship that goes all the way around the outside as well and if you follow my vlogs I we I have vlogged us playing this in the summer so you will have seen that whether you can get that on Amazon again I think I've looked for it and I can't find it so if you find it let us know in the comments this is our favorite all-time game Harry Potter seen it oh so Harry Potter we all love Harry Potter don't we even daddy likes it a bit a bit better than he used to and seen it is where you get like a DVD you get a board and you have to go work your way around the board asking questions ask answering aren't answering questions asking asking it's been a long day right answering questions from the cd dvd my goodness um and working your way around the board basically so it's a really really good game i will try and find it if i can if i can't sorry right and then the last game we've got for now is Minion Monopoly, because everyone knows Monopoly. We don't really play it. But no, we have done. Um, we, we play it with John and Tilly. Yeah, it's just a long game. It can go on for a while, but this is quicker than the actual game. The actual Monopoly goes on forever, but this is quicker. And you get like this one to spin in the middle of the board and everything. And I really like this one. I think this is a good game. So that's another recommendation so that's it for all the games that I've recommended for today we have got a whole cupboard full of games haven't we so I can get if you're interested let me know in the comments and I will do another one of the other games I've got because I've got so many and like I say as many as I can list I will list for you if not go and have a look yourself you might be able to find them better than I can so now we've got to go and check the sausage rolls go and try one Dolly Rolls! Right, it's just gone ten past three. I am done in. We've still got the fish in the bucket, look. Let's see if you can see them. There they are. One, two. You'll be in your new home soon, fishies. Will be soon. Right, this is what Pippin's got up to today with reindeer. They're playing Twister. So Pippin spun the wheel and it's on yellow. So the reindeer's got his feet on yellow there, honestly. What are you two like, eh? And on a side note to that, would you like to name our reindeer? Because we did give him a name, but we can't remember it. <laughs> so the elf is called Pippin, but comment down below and let me know what you'd like our reindeer. Let me give you a look at him. There's our reindeer. What would you like our reindeer to be called? Other than Rudolph, because that he hasn't got a red nose. So, yeah, see if uh, you can come up with a good reindeer name. Right, so these are what the sausage rolls are looks like. So a lot of them have burst open, but that doesn't matter. They still taste good. If anyone's got any tips for to stop sausage rolls bursting open, can you let me know down below what it is? Because uh, I've never had success with keeping my sausage rolls shut. Maybe I don't allow enough pastry. I mean that one, that one's shut. 
but the others have burnt that one's shut oh i don't know i reckon it's because i don't allow enough pastry to wrap it around it but anyway um i've just got this much left so i'm probably going to get a few out of this sheet and i've got another batch in the oven but um i've got to do a couple more jobs then i'm going to sit down and edit and chill out because i am shattered holly's going to do evie's advent there she is waiting for it patiently what number are we on today nine obviously it's what number 10 this? vlog but oh what you got what picture is it house the star oh where is it i'm gonna eat it oh nice thank you holly mm -hmm. yeah go go right the fishes are going in if you can catch them no you're not going to be able to see what you're doing either are you Let's get the net can you still see or do you want me to shine a light in welcome to your new home fishies when she can get them Luna isn't it the baby one yeah the baby one's in He's like, where's this? Hopefully not in too much of a shock, little baby fish. Not really a baby. No, but it's not grown anymore, is he? Yeah, oh my God, that's going to be funny. Hey, come. What would you do if it flipped out of the net? I would run away. <laughs> I would have to scoop it up. There it is. Oh, it's by the uh, pump. They'll be together at the yeah, back. Yeah, will be a bit scared at first. So we don't put the light on for a while because they have to like acclimatise to their new environment. But there you go, disaster averted, fish tank explosion sorted. Right, I'm really sorry. No comments of the day tonight. I've done too much. I need to sit down and chill out. So here's to another vlogmas day tomorrow don't forget to hit the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done already and i'll see you tomorrow for vlogmas day 11 oh pops is home by the way <laughs> for vlogmas day 11 bye